Hi, I'm Joe Baker. And I'm Jeff Baker. And welcome to our training videos for Ed Parker's American Kenpo Yellow Belt Self-Defense Techniques. On this list, we're going to be covering 10 self-defense techniques that are required for the rank of Yellow Belt. The first technique we're going to be demonstrating today is sword and hammer. Sword and hammer is actually the last technique on the yellow belt list as Mr. Parker had originally written. Uh, I've rearranged these techniques a little bit to uh, group them together by name, so this is going to be the first technique that we're demonstrating today. It's only a couple of steps long, very simple, but it, it's a great demonstration of some of the concepts and principles that we need to understand in order to be effective in our techniques. So our attack is relatively simple in this particular technique. Our attacker is coming up and grabbing a hold of our right shoulder with his left hand. And what he intends to do here is pull us back so that he can sucker punch us in the face. So what we need to do is we need to get control of the situation right away. We need to get control of this hand. So I'm going to raise my left hand, grab a hold of his right, and pin it against my shoulder. In doing this, I'm preventing him from lifting this hand off of my shoulder and punching me in the face. By pinning this against my shoulder, I know that I only have one arm to deal with at this point. Now he's pulling us, and we're going to go ahead and assume that this guy's a lot bigger and a lot stronger than we are. So when he pulls us, we're going to step into a neutral bow, solidify our base, keep your back nice and straight for balance, and simultaneously execute a sword strike into his larynx, right here. Just upon making contact with this larynx, our hand is going to bounce, ricochet right off that larynx, close your fist, and strike down here into the groin with a hammer fist, and apply marriage with gravity for power. Sword and hammer is the first technique on the entire Kenpo curriculum that has you strike into your attacker's larynx. So let's talk about this target because we are going to be using it quite often in the system. Um, your larynx constitutes this area right here, the front of your throat. Uh, just below that, behind your manubrium, which is part of your sternum, we'll be getting into that later, uh, begins your trachea or your windpipe. Both of these target areas do have the potential of being a fatal blow because any strike to this area can cause that windpipe to collapse. Granted, you would have to hit it pretty hard. Uh, but just so you guys understand that when we're practicing techniques like this, it's always wise to make contact with your partner's chest so that we don't come up here and clip them in the larynx. So once again, our attacker grabs a hold of our right shoulder with his left hand. Again, he intends to pull us back into a punch. Step number one, we're going to grab a hold of this arm. We're going to step and strike simultaneously. Okay, strike up here into the larynx. Bounce off that larynx, use marriage of gravity, strike him down here in the groin with a hammer fist. That hammer fist, by the way, can ricochet off of its target and actually feed your cross out. 